they had wanted to uh, bring the philosophy and the teachings, these are his true teachings, onto the screen. And they had uh, wanted to do it in a, you know, in a, in a very realistic way, not a flashy way, you know, th this could have easily been um, gone down a very different path, um, but they settled on finding us, settled on it, on us as a filmmaking team, so that's Brian Yang and myself. If you don't know, we're married now. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a good, We already work well as a team, and so when we uh, when we came on board, um, I pitched a, a different idea than they would already worked with. It's slightly, you know, I think the previous team that they had worked with, um, it was just a, a screenplay that I personally couldn't connect with. And when I uh, brought the idea of healing and of um, redemption, and I felt like it really would work and make sense with what he was teaching. Um, so we kind of got together this way and I think it, uh, it worked out well. <laughs> uh, I was yes. wondering who from the cast and crew had, had done Taekwondo before the movie started? Oh. <laughs> no one. I haven't done Taekwondo, but I've done karate. Okay. So uh, as a Korean, I've done at least two to three years of Taekwondo as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Koreans! <laughs> I, I, think, I think Mike had had in his childhood as well. Oh, yeah. Sorry, no, I forgot. And, uh, he come from his uh, Farnington in Connecticut, about a two and a half hours away, long way. <laughs> and uh, Master Paul Pichano. Oh. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All his friends managed to come through. And on our way now, uh, I, don't, I cannot see. William Ted. Where's the. Oh, yo, William Ted is around. And, I, and, I, and he introduced now in New York and University present. And many things helped me. But so we are, we are big change, but Nadian, that was Nadian is a very I like that name. And we know, and I'm so happy about that. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, my student, Master Jason Gim, he is now owned by and the Central Avenue School. That my, was my school, but he is about seven, eight days a week, every day close now for this movie. Uh -huh. uh, Jason Gim. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. And also all of your students too. And even uh, I don't remember, I have to understand. So many people I can remember. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we can take a few questions from the audience. I'll let Nadine Dean pick if anyone raises their hands. Anyone? Involved with this project? Like, how long was in the making and at what stage did each of you join? It was definitely, they worked on it for years. The idea was there for years. I don't even know how many, I think four or five, or five, six years that they'd been wanting to make a film. We came in later um, in between saying, yes, let's work together to production was about six months, so it took me a few, uh, a, a whole month to write the first draft and then to just keep tweaking it and tweaking it. And then we got into production right away and uh, maybe about a month before we got into production is when we started crewing up. So we have cinematographer and sound and all the other people that are awesome. Um, and then the rest kind of gets cast along the way, like right the few three weeks three or four weeks before we start shooting. Thank you for your question. Who else? Anybody else? Yeah. Where's the uh, lead character? <laughs> 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 
How many Mike Feist fans are out there? <laughs> All right, we've been hearing from a lot of you. Uh, Mike, uh, who played Ben on screen, unfortunately couldn't make it tonight. He He's on a Broadway show. I see someone wearing a t-shirt called Dear Evan Hansen. He was actually nominated for a Tony this year. Uh, so, he, he works, I think they do 10, I don't know how many, eight, nine shows a week. Um, so his time is, is, is quite precious at the moment if you're a working Broadway actor. So unfortunately he couldn't be here. But thank you for, to the Mike fans. Uh, we've been hearing from you guys all across the country. And uh, we, you know, hopefully this is my moment to be the producer. Hopefully you guys like what you saw and you can go and tell your friends for those who use social media. Uh, we are trying to bring this out to the country, uh, and we're going to do some tug screenings, which is, is a device that helps bring movies to different cities. So uh, everyone, you know, it's, this is a digital age. We've got to tell each other through Facebook, email. I mean, you can use the old-fashioned telephone, too, but uh, follow us on our all our social media platforms. You get all the information. I'm sure some of you are already doing that, but if you're inspired by seeing it now and, and can do this after the movie, we'd really appreciate it. So. Stay tuned, um, you know, tell your, your cousins in all the different corners of this country if you want to go far and wide and, you know, help Master Kang's philosophies get out there, so, thank yes. you. Uh, I felt very important uh, person. He's so busy, but he can't be busy. Uh, so, the um, biggest and uh, coolest part of young Casper called Kaushiro. Uh, Commissioner Chalkado Mesto and Commissioner Cardinal. Mesto Cardinal, I met him when he was 13 years old. <laughs> but I'm very much loving him. <laughs> so, uh, William Lian, Mesto William Lian, he has school law and ONC, but he's a, he's a very great instructor. And thank you.